my loves welcome back i gotta be honest i miss y'all i've been really busy i've been traveling i've been working a lot so i have not really been filming videos the way i usually would so if you're new welcome my name is brianna aka dollface pa if you're returning welcome back I'm so glad to be in front of this camera talking to you guys. Today, I have something very exciting to talk about and it is the physician assistant name change. And so I'm sure a lot of you, first of all, let me rewind. If you're new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so that you can get the alert whenever I post new videos. Fast forward. So today I'm gonna to be talking about the physician assistant name change, which has been in the news recently. And it's very, very exciting news. For those of you who are unaware, they are in the process of changing the physician assistant title to physician associate. And this is a really big deal. Uh, they've been, there's been rumors of them doing this for several years. Even when I was in PA school, they were, you know, constantly going to the AAPA, which is the National Professional Society for Physician Assistants. It's the American Academy of PAs. And uh, it's basically the professional society that decides on these types of matters. On May 24th of 2021, the AAPA House of Delegates had a majority vote, 198 to 68, that the name was going to be changed to physician associate. And so at this moment, we are still referred to as physician assistants. The vote now has to go to the AAPA Board of Directors, and they are the ones who will determine how this new name change is implemented. So currently at this time, it's not appropriate for us to refer to ourselves as physician associates. We are still physician assistants at the moment, but it is in motion, and hopefully within the coming weeks, we will have a little bit more concrete information on when we will be officially named as physician associates. And so the reason why this is really exciting is because since the physician assistant profession arose back in 1965, we've always been referred to as physician assistants. And the name is very misleading because even now in 2021, a lot of people do not know what physician assistants are. And the word assistant implies that we are assisting the doctor, which is true to an extent, but I don't think that it fully embodies and encompasses what we really do. Uh, as mid-level providers, we can do a lot of the same things as doctors. We can prescribe medications, we can diagnose patients, we can order tests, we can interpret labs, interpret images, Im imaging studies that we've ordered. We can perform procedures, we can assist with procedures. It, there's a lot more than just assisting. So I think the name is very confusing for patients who don't know what a physician assistant is, I get asked all the time, even by people who have the best of intentions, are you a nurse? Are you a medical assistant? And nurses and medical assistants are absolutely vital to the healthcare system and we work very closely with them. I have a lot of respect for them, but that is not what I am. And physician assistants, our roles are very different. What nurses do and what physician assistants do are not the same. Nurses have an associate's or a bachelor's degree in nursing. They pass their state boards. They're able to pass medications. They're able to examine patients. They're able to educate patients. All of these things are vital. And we work very closely with our nurses because they're kind of like the first set of eyes on the patient. If something is wrong or if something is changing clinically with the patients, the nurse is usually the first one to sound the alarm. Medical assistants do not have necessarily a... Uh, an associate or a bachelor's degree. They usually have a medical assistant program certificate. Um, they cannot pass medications in most states. Uh, it is state dependent, but I don't think here in New York they're able to pass medications. They perform a lot of administrative tasks. Um, they manage medical records. They take vital signs. They can help with collecting labs. They can help with collecting a history from the patient just in you know, uh, interview, but I, I believe nurses may have a little bit more, uh, what's the word, ability and reach and what they can do with the patient 
in comparison to a medical assistant, though we all work very closely together. So it, there is a lot of overlap. A lot of the things that medical assistants can do, nurses can do, physician assistants can do. Some things nurses can do, uh, medical assistants cannot do. Some things physician assistants can do, nurses cannot do. And so it's kind of like overlap and there's some things that some professions can't do and other things that they can do. And so I think the term associate has more of a connotation of a partnership. Whereas assistant sounds like, oh, you're just assisting me. Like the doctor is telling me what to do, which sometimes is the case. But in many cases, as a physician assistant, you will be managing the patient by yourself. You see something going on clinically, you use your clinical knowledge, you come up with the plan, you order the tests, you order the medications, and you can always escalate to a attending physician or you can always escalate for help if you need it. But in a lot of cases, you are managing the patient by yourself. So the word assistant isn't really as accurate as the term associate. So as PAs, we are elated about this name change. I think it is a lot more, um, it is, it, it's a lot more accurate. And I think it will eliminate a lot of the confusion with patients. I think if I were to walk in and introduce myself as a physician associate, a patient would be less inclined to think that I'm a nurse or I'm a medical assistant that's just helping out. And they'll understand like, no, like you can tell me what's going on with you. Like I can prescribe what you need and so forth. And so I'm very excited about this. Uh, hopefully we have the official green light to refer to ourselves as physician associates soon, but we'll stay patient. Either way, we're still gonna be PAs, but we just won't be assistants anymore, we'll be associates. So I'm very excited. Um, in my next video, I'm gonna be talking about a day in the life at my job. I've had a lot of my subscribers asking me to like actually walk them through what a day at my job looks like and i thought i had done that in one of my prior videos but um on a second thought maybe i wasn't as uh explicitly uh detailed as some of my subscribers would like me to be and that's fine i'm happy to walk through what a normal day for me looks like which is actually very chaotic but i'll go through it and then i think on another video probably the video after that, I'm gonna bring on some of my colleagues. One of my coworkers suggested that we do a video together. And I'm not sure what we're gonna talk about yet, but I think it's a great idea. I may bring like two or three of them on and maybe we can do like a Q and A or I don't really know. I have to think about that a little bit more, but thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to hit me up you can hit me up in the comments you can hit me up on instagram or twitter my name is brianna moore all the time every day you can email me my email is also in the description box thank you guys so much for tuning in i'm so happy to be back on this platform and speaking to you guys and i love you guys please be safe enjoy your summer stay cool because it's very hot out here love you guys bye